Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for your time. Um, so my name is Ehsan Razzad Azar from Toronto Metropolitan University. And this work was done by my former uh, master's students, Lion, uh, Lion Farahat, uh, who recently graduated. Unfortunately, for family reasons, she couldn't attend and present her amazing work. So I'm presenting on behalf of her. Uh, so first, I'm going to introduce the topic and motivation, uh, followed by the research methods that we use, result and discussion, and uh, conclusion of uh, this research. Uh, so as you all know, uh, digital imaging and videotaping uh, are widely used uh, in the AEC architecture, engineering, and construction industry practitioners uh, for uh, Variety of reasons uh, for uh, monitoring the progress of the project uh, by different parties for documentation, uh, especially for uh, documenting, especially can be used for claim management purposes, for change management, uh, or for litigation or avoiding litigation. The images can be used for training, uh, for skill training or safety training, and many other applications. Uh, so. These are very, uh, images are very valuable, in particular our focus on, on images. So this results in creating very large databases. Um, so thousands and thousands of images are produced in uh, construction, uh, especially because of the widespread of application of smartphones, cameras, drones, etc. So most of these images are uh, manually documented for very special purpose. For example, you collect the image for very special purpose and perhaps you label it and uh, store it for that specific purpose, maybe based on the location or phase of the project or uh, based on the uh, uh, time or something like that. So that results in uh, overlooking valuable information. I've worked in this in addition to uh, Academia for more than five years and as a contract administrator, and sometimes you know that there is images somewhere that you can use for another purpose, but you don't know where it is. So the thing is that we have a generic image retrieval system, uh, such as your Google Photo. For example, you can simply look for objects or for more high-level things, such as, for example, you can simply search for hiking, sightseeing. So all the images that you use for that purpose comes up. But the, Construction industry has its own complexity, which cannot be addressed with this generic uh, image retrieval system. So this gap has been identified by the academics, uh, so especially in the last three, four years. So uh, there are a number of research which focused on this specific topic. So far, all of them that I've seen, they emphasize on captioning, meaning generating a sentence, what's happening in an image which rely on an actor. For example, they say an excavator is loading a dump truck with soil. Uh, so they use long-term, uh, long short-term memory methods. They use or more uh, modern methods such as clip or others. But uh, the issue is that what happens which there is no actor, meaning there is no worker nor no equipment in the image, which can happen a lot. For example, at the end of the day, you take a, uh, image of an formwork area or rebar placement or something without any other actor. So how do you caption, caption or meaningfully annotate those images? Uh, so we thought about creating an uh, ensemble model, meaning that we assemble a number of uh, methods together uh, to tackle this problem. So assuming that we have this image, uh, so what we do, we run an object detector uh, and we run a semantic segmentation. Um, so what this gives us, this gives us the objects and uh, the surfaces or material that exist in an image. Uh, so we call them low level, uh, basically, uh, labels. Uh, so the aim is that each we have, we create an additional classifier, which takes classifier, which can be turn this, each of these objects to a binary value uh, and we can train any models, including neural network, random forest, or something like that, 
the idea here is that hopefully it can give us high level classification and medium level. So medium level, we define it as actions. For example, earth moving happening, carpentry work is happening, masonry work is happening, or uh, earth hauling happening. And high level, we call it, if we can identify a project type, for example, if it's a heavy construction, if it's a foundation construction, a structural work, uh, something like that. Each we, can, we, we can distinguish the project type. So for this reason, this project started two years ago, so the models that you see at this point are uh, quite old for the time, uh, but I have to say this, we recently updated these methods, uh, we, we, but I have to stick to the original paper, so we replace it with YOLO V8, and also we replace ResNet 50 with uh, more modern transformer-based swine transformers, but Anyway, and uh, for the uh, classification, we use neural networks. And the aim was that we wanted to label uh, 15 types of activity and project types uh, from outdoor construction. Uh, here are some results that we got for object detection and semantic segmentation. And here is the result for ensemble model. Basically, using that models and the trained classifier to see what's happening. So. Uh, as you can see here, here is a without any actor, so we can see a building substructure with concrete work and rebar work uh, evident in this image. So that's the result of the system. The system could detect uh, it is a building substructure and these two activities are detected. We had one false uh, positive, which was uh, formwork happening, which there is no formwork happening at this point in this image. Uh, so here are some results that uh, you can see uh, for activity recognition and uh, project type recognition, especially the result that we got for project type are rather low for some classes. But uh, the reality is that we replaced with better, recently with better object detector and segment, semantic segmentation, so we were able to improve this result. In addition to that, we did some sensitivity on it, meaning that uh, the base scenario was that just uh, the text classifier for uh, with true with uh, a ground true result for uh, object detection and semantic segmentation, and then we uh, we feed the system only with object detector and only with semantic segmentation result. The, we wanted to see that which one has the more pronounced result uh, effect on the overall result, and we figure out that the semantic segmentation. So we saw that if we can improve the result of semantic segmentation, we can get an overall better result from the captioning of the images. Uh, nevertheless, uh, there were some, especially as I mentioned, the results uh, were more promising in uh, identifying the actions versus the project types, and we saw that really there are some uh, inherent issues with uh, identifying just the project type from one image. For example, in the in left-hand side, you can see very similar uh, existence of similar elements, such as soil, concrete, and excavator. One of them is the underpass in a high, uh, road construction. The other one is actually uh, uh, excavating a, a foundation of a high-rise. So without having uh, background knowledge in addition to visual items that are appearing, it, is really, it could be really difficult to know what type of uh, project we are looking at. Another issue was that, um, for example, here in this image, you can see there are dump trucks, soil, uh, excavator, and this is excavation of a foundation uh, for a high-rise construction. But you can see there are asphalt and so on. So that asphalt and existence of the equipment, which typically exist in road construction, misled the classifier that this is a highway construction, which is not highway, this is a, actually a uh, foundation construction. So these are some of the issues that we noticed, uh, and uh, we are trying to uh, resolve this issue. So to sum up the, uh, because of the time restriction, I try to be quick. For the more information, you can definitely uh, refer to the paper. Uh, so we overall achieved 60% um, of precision and 70% of recall rate in all 160 images in uh, correctly annotating them for the activities that appearing as well as the project type. 
we figured out that uh, we, uh, the, the result showed us that if we can provide a stronger semantic segmentation models, especially in recent re research, we recently replaced the ResNet 50 with transformer-based, especially swine transformer. We, we saw much improvement, a big improvement in the result because detecting correct type of material can really help the eventual classifier to better annotate the images. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned, be better training and uh, using state-of-the-art mo models in this ensemble model can help. We are also currently working on other uh, uh, emerging methods such as belief-based methods, which are the de detectorless. Uh, so they try to, um, uh, to caption the images, and this is the ongoing research that we are uh, currently working on. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, I will be here for your rest. Thank you so much.